Hi, ngayong May 14, 2020 ay magbibigay tayo ng stock market drop ng PSC. So, bago yung opening mamaya. So, kahapon, May 13, ang index ay na-close 5626.25 or up by 25.42 points. Total turnover, 4.7 billion pesos which is choppy versus yeah, kasi ang year to date average ay nasa around 6.4 so puntahan na natin ngayon yung chart yeah, kasi nag record na ako kanina kaso hindi pala siya na record so balik ulit balikan na lang ulit natin so, sabi ko nga, ang index ay nasa consolidation phase. Pero, kung pupuntahan natin yung US stock market, down kasi siya ng, ayan o, 486 points. So, possibly bukas ay mag-down rin ang index. Atya. So, possible support ay nasa 5547. Yan yung first support and next support nasa 5433. Depende na sa magiging magnitude or sentiment ng market bukas. Of course, resistance nasa around 5737. So, yun lang ang mga comment ko sa PSEI. So, punta tayo sa most active stocks. So, Yung, punta muna tayo sa home based on sa percentage up. So, ang old home ang old home ay actually dahil nga siya, nadagdag siya sa dito Nadaptag siya sa MSCI Microcap. Kasama niya yung DMC at SECB. So, it's a positive for home. So, kung makita niyo sa chart is I'm more bullish. So, it could possibly retest the at least around nasa 0.618 fib 7227 0.46. Support ay nasa around 5.80. So, next ay Meralco. So, Meralco So, ang Meralco it's actually trending higher. So, ang Ang bias ko ay actually positive or more on bullish ako kay Meralco and could possibly retest the 300 or the resistance na 296 I should say. And of course the support around 252. So yeah, it's a utility at kahit na may crisis ay kailangan pa rin ng tao ang kuryente. So Resistance 296, support 250, 252, and bias ko ay, yeah, bullish. So, Ayala Land, Ali. So, on the property, hindi ako, I mean, I'm more bearish, so I really can comment more. Yeah, kasi syempre, yung mga tao ay hindi naman sila bibili ngayon ng mga properties like condominiums, dupa, or syempre, kotse. So, yeah, more on neutral ako kay Ayala Land. So, masasabi ko lang is the resistance na around 35 and support around 28 dito. So, next ay SM. SM. 
um, SM itself, I'm more neutral also, but yeah, technical wise, yeah, it's going higher kaso kasi yung volume niya hindi nagpipick up, so medyo choppy siya talaga ang trades. So, madali lang to i-basagin. So, ang sasabihin ko lang, more, since more neutral ako, ay support nasa 778 dito. And resistance around 882. Wala akong madagdag na ano eh, kay SM. So, yun lang. Kasi kung sa panahon ngayon, sa crisis, yeah, syempre mag-invest ka sa stocks na more on mag-grow or I mean mag mabilis na mag-recover. Like for example, yung mga basic essentials and utilities and of course sa construction kasi back na sila sa normal. I mean not normal but the new normal. RHI RHI since Rite, Robinson's Rite, actually I'm more bullish on it. So, possibly could retest 76 and support nasa around 60 pesos. Robinson's Retail URC, of course URC is, I'm more bullish. So, depende kung anong klaseng type of trader kayo or investor. So, kay URC, ganda no? It's actually trending higher. So, it could possibly retest at this level. If it breaks at this level, is, yeah, next target is around 158. Support is nasa 115 pesos. So, yun ang kay URC. Tell. Yeah, kasi naka-record na ako kanina. Kaso, hindi pala siya na record. So, tell. Ang bias ko, um, yeah, I'm more actually neutral kay tell. Over the last two days, makita natin may buying, pero hindi ganun kalaki yung volume neto. So, yeah, it could go either ways. Resistance, 1308. And support dito, around 1118 or 1180. Actually, merong opportunity kay Tel. And at the same time kasi, medyo napending din yung kanilang um, expansion or mga improvements. So, on that note, syempre, ganun din yung earnings. Pero, syempre, on the internet side, yung mga tao is, there's a higher demand on data. So, PDO. Bank, sabi ko nga, I'm not, or I'm more bearish on banks. Kasi, kung may gagawin yung tao, it's, of course, is, last thing is, magbayad utang. So, yun. On that note, yeah. Wala akong masasabi kay PDO. But just the support and resistance. Support around 90, resistance 110. Yeah, kasi kapag mag yun nga, we're already in the recovering phase. Pero yung mga banks, kasama na din yung property and of course, yung luxury katulad ng kotse. And of course, yung travel, medyo, yun. Um, mas challenging sa kanila ngayon times na to. So, yeah, I expect talaga na makihit yung kanilang revenues and at the same time, yung earnings. So, pure gold. Pure gold is added sa global MSCI index. So, it's actually a positive note for pure gold. So, ang resistant neto, ang resistance neto is possibly back to 50, 
around 56 pesos. And of course, support ay nasa around 46. So, yun, 46. Kung meron akong magsisell of, which is, I doubt, nagkakaroon pa ng sell off. Next support ay 41. Pero, on pure gold, I'm more on positive or bullish. So, yun. Higay ng mga aso namin. DMC, kasama din siya sa naad sa micro cups. So, on that note, sa Kahit na nagbibenta siya ng condominium, I'm more bullish kay DMC. So, it could possibly retest or back to around 6.23. Support ay nasa around 52-week low or 3.10. So, BPI, another banks ulit. Yeah. For bank, sabi ko nga, bearish ako sa bank industry itself. So, I can comment more. Pero mukha siyang nag-resist sa level na to. So, possibly, could retest back around 56 or bumalik sa 56. Resistance around 65. And BT, bank ulit sa pang bank so MPT hmm. yeah tulad nga nang sinabi ko I'm more bearish sa banks and I'm not currently holding any bank stocks so yun bearish ako so yung support ay nasa posibleng balik 33 Resistance around 42. So, JGS. JGS more on neutral. Kasi, JGS. Sa Cebu Pacific side, syempre, yun yung medyo negative sa kanya. And of course, sa... mga properties or sa condos. So, dun ako negative kay... GGS, but yeah, could possibly more on bearish ako ngayon on the technical note, possibly retest back support na around 43, resistance 57 so, dun ako kay GGS, and then after nun, I globe globe so, ang globe Actually, ang globe mukha siyang triple top. So, it could possibly retest back. Yun. 1, 2, 3. So, possibly retest back at least 0.618 FIP or back to around 2,000 pesos. Resistance is, yun nga, nasa top or nasa 2,289. So, Yun ako kay Globe. Wilcon. Yeah, actually for Wilcon. Positive ako kay Wilcon. Back to operations na yung mga construction. And they're also planning to, to launch an e-commerce platform like Alibaba. So on that note, I'm more bullish on the Wilcon. So it, it could possibly retest resistance or around 1910 support around 13 pesos so afternoon AC AC yeah, actually meron silang ano kanina briefing or or kahapon Um, for Ayala, actually, I'm more neutral. So, it could possibly retest. Resistance na lang sasabihin ko. Resistance we're looking at are nasa around 749. Support 605. MPI. Uh, 
ang MPI. Wala akong masyado, masyado sa MPI, pero sa toll roads, it's actually negative on them. So, ang resistance, 307, support 2.39. Pero mukhang, since nag-sell off, mukhang tutuloy pa to and possibly back to 2.39. SMPH, 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 yeah, more on neutral din ako dito sa SMPH, pero ilang days nang pababa, so it could possibly, 1, 2, 3, that's already 3 black or red candles, so it could possibly retest back support level na around 24 Resistance ay nasa around 32. Tech and SECP. So, for tech, so, for tech, nagkaroon ng ano kanina? Nag-sell of your mga investors. So, for tech, Actually, I'm also neutral. <laughs> Pero mukhang tutuloy pa siya. Malaki yung volume. So, it could possibly retest back 6.03. At saka madami may gaps dito. So, it could possibly refill or fill this gap. So, resistance around 10 pesos. And of course, sec B. Sec B natanggal sa Global Standard Index ng MSCI pero na pero na siya sa micro caps. So on that note, ah posibleng pag nag syempre pag nagbawas sila, it could possibly retest back the support level na around 80 pesos. Resistance around 113. Pero makikita mo is malaki yung buying. So, yeah, more on. Baka ma-fill niya tong gaps. Pero tulad nga nang sabi ko, I'm not positive. I'm more bearish sa mga banks. On the fund side, on the technical side, yeah. Siguro you can, there's an opportunity with it. So, yun. Yun. More on sa technical side is bullish ako. Posibleng i-refill yung gap. Or i-fill yung gap. Ang laki ng volume eh. So next. Or dito na lang tayo. Sa advancers. Or advances. Kasi yung iba dun ay na-discuss na dito sa most active. So punta na lang tayo kay MAH at saka IDC. MAH. MAH, yung bullish candle. So, could possibly retest back the resistance or target na 2.90. Support na sa 2.38. IDC, another property. I mean, property. So, the property itself on the fund, sabi ko nga, I'm not, I, I'm bearish. Pero, on the technical notes, two days nang umakyat, so it could possibly retest back or balik around dito sa, dito, at least dito, around 2.36 and Yung high neto is around 244. So, posibleng balik siya doon. And currently, yung support ay tingin ko nasa support level na to. Kung sakali mang mag-break pa yung support, next support ay around 155. And yung last, yung declines ay MACD, MAC, 
Mac pala. Mac at saka M wide. Yung Mac din yung indicator naman na. It's actually Mac. Macro Asia. Ah, kasi, kasi nga is isa din to sa mga stock na nabawas sa MSCI. So, naging negative sentiment sa market. So, kung titignan mo, it's actually a doji. Um, so, ibig sabihin, hindi pa makapag-decide yung investor. So, I'm more neutra neutral. So, it could go either way. So, ang support nasa 395, ang resistance 4.66. Pero since ito, mo, ang business nito is related sa aviation. So, I'm sa travel industry, I'm more Actually, uh, sa travel, I'm more ne negative or bearish. Sa US, ang airline industry are filing for bankruptcy. Could possibly buy, file bankruptcy. And, yeah, mababa yung oil din. So, that's also another another factor. Di, mababa yung oil. Actually, it should be positive for for travelers. Kaso kasi dahil sa COVID pandemic, that, uh, alam mo yun, that restrict or parang ayaw mag-travel na ng mga travelers. So, yun. So, yeah, stay safe muna and mostly no travel sa mga global, globally. Though may mga travels naman, pero syempre, is malilower down. So, yeah, ang MACD, ang, re, ang support, 395, resistance, 46. Yun yan ang mga aso namin, at saka may pusa pa sa labas. So, yun, on the mega wide. Uy, Nasdaq is nasa around 10,000. So, on mega wide, nabawa, natanggal din siya.